I want to show you how you can convert your document, like I have here, on Yummy Bears into a PowerPoint presentation. And if you don't know what PowerPoint is, then I recommend that you watch my training videos on it. But in short, PowerPoint is a presentation program. It does a lot of the same things that Word does. You can type text, insert images and objects, draw shapes. But the biggest difference is that once you do all that in PowerPoint, you can actually animate any of it, as well as add or insert movies and audio. Now, as you can see here, I already have the text that I want to give a presentation on, but I want to convert it over to Microsoft's PowerPoint program, so then I can add some animation to it and maybe some transitional effects. And you need to know that when you use the Send to PowerPoint feature from the document here, that I want to pull it out and put it into PowerPoint, it'll only pull over that text that has any heading style supplied to it, like Yummy Bears. When I click anywhere within the text, you can come up here in the Styles group, and you can see that Heading 1 has been applied to it. And then below that, Heading Style 2, and click More. I've got Heading Style 3 and 4. It'll only pull over anything that has Heading Styles applied to it. Not like, let me click here, this style, Normal, is going to keep it in the document and not look at it. It'll also bring over list items, like my bulleted list, and so it may have something to chew on, because when it brings over your Heading Styles, it's easy to create those slides or layout in PowerPoint knowing that a main point is Yummy Bears and Heading 2, if it's right underneath it, would be a subpoint as you would see in a Word document. I mean Yummy Bears, then we've got our flavors. And then down below, I don't know about target audience, but Snickerdoodles, that's a main point, Heading 1, and then below that, a subpoint, Heading 2. So Snickerdoodles is an oversight or overbite. That's kind of a teaser there. And then you can learn more about it in a subheading, which is going to be Heading 3, in 2008 about our oversight or overbite, and then the 2009 earnings for our oversight or overbite. And if you click on the More button, you can see Heading 3 has been applied to 2009, and also click anywhere in 2008, click More, and you can see it right there. It's highlighted Heading 3. Let me click off and scroll back up. Now you probably want to know why it doesn't pull over all the text into the PowerPoint presentation. The whole purpose of PowerPoint is to not read text, but only to present main points. In other words, flash up on the screen in front of your audience a couple main points, and then you talk about it. They can focus on the main points, but any fleshing out or details, then you want to have that come out of your own mouth. If you want to have them something to read, don't do it in PowerPoint. Just print off your documents and hand them out and don't use PowerPoint. At least that's my opinion. In any case, to drive the point home, let me do Control F. And over here in the navigation pane on the headings tab, you can see that we've got our headings. Heading 1 is Yummy Bears, and it's in a hierarchical structure, because below that and indented is heading level 2 for flavors and target audience. So if this was my presentation, albeit it's going to be in PowerPoint, if I said, okay, here's our product Yummy Bears, and this is all that you see on the screen, and I go, we have great flavors, and I go over it in detail like coconut, maple syrup, chocolate, you don't have to read it all out because it gets a little bit more distracting than if you just said, here's the main points, and I'll talk about them. It makes it a lot easier, at least for the audience, to grasp what you're talking about than having to have their eyes busy at the same time trying to listen to you. When their eyes don't have that much to work on, if you just give them a couple of main points and then let your voice flesh it out and be the details for them to focus on. So let's go ahead and close out of here. Now the Send to PowerPoint presentation is a command that isn't anywhere on the ribbon or the Quick Access Toolbar. So to add it to our Quick Access Toolbar so we can use it, just right click anywhere on it, and then go down to Customize Quick Access Toolbar, change it from Popular to All Commands, and we want to scroll down to the S's, and there it is, Send to Microsoft PowerPoint. Double click on it to bring it over to the right hand side, click Okie Dokie, and it's right there. It's got the document that it wants to turn it over to PowerPoint. So you're ready? Let's go ahead and click on it. And that's it. It opens up the PowerPoint program and it pulls over everything that I talked about, any text within the document that has a heading style applied to it. Like the first slide has Yummy Bears. Well, if we go back to our document, there's Yummy Bears. The one below that is in the hierarchical structure, Heading 2, which is not as great as Heading 1. And so back into our PowerPoint presentation, for the first slide it says Yummy Bears, and then as a bulleted point, it's going to have flavors. If you go to the second slide, it's got coconut, then maple syrup, and chocolate, and then target audience. Well, how does that compute? Let's go back to the document. 
there's the flavors. So for each bulleted item, it put it on its own slide because PowerPoint sees that as a list item that you can add more or talk more about. Even though to me, I'm done with it, I don't need to do it. So it's not perfect. If I go back to my presentation, I don't like to talk about the flavors here and have one for each slide because, I mean, chocolate. Well, you can see that it's one of the bulleted items, and then below that's target audience, and over here, target audience is heading level two. So it put that as a subpoint to the chocolate, and what I'll have to do is uh, clean that up and maybe delete the slides here, and then just keep in mind when I give the presentation and they get the first slide, I talk about flavors, and I just have those flavors in my mind, and I can just rattle them off instead of listing all 101 flavors and then talking through all that. Ugh, that would bore my audience and put them to sleep. We just want to let them know that we do have more than one flavor. Yay! And so I can clean this up, delete that slide if I don't want it, and then let's go down to the last slide, because this is a better example of a cleaner import or export from Word into PowerPoint. If you didn't have any bulleted points and you had your heading styles set up so it flowed within your Word document, it would look like this. So you have snickerdoodles as the main point, and then below that, is it an oversight or overbite? And then we talk about if it was an oversight with their earnings, if they're really low, then we can talk about that because that's a subpoint to the main point, which is the subpoint to even the overall main point here. So if I go back to the Word document and I scroll down, again, you can see. There's the main point, which is heading 1, and then it goes down to heading 2, and then below that is heading 3, if I'd expand it, and there you go. So if you have a nice even flow, it will look great when you export it or send it over into PowerPoint. If not, then go ahead and clean it up, and I find that there are times where I want some of the text over here from the Word document, in which case you can copy and paste once you do your main export and get over your main items or your main headings, like for Yummy Bears, and, well, it brings over the bulleted points, but any other main headings that you have, like snickerdoodles.